Hello everyone, and as promised, what we're going to do now is to bring everything together. So we're bringing the properties, the templates, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a template info box for a football club. So let me just uh, show you what I mean. So first of all, if you don't know what info boxes are, if you go to Wikipedia, most pages, if they're established pages, they have this info box on the right hand side, which essentially is a summary of the page. It has various information um, about about that page. But so what we're going to do is we're going to create those info boxes, but we're going to assign properties to them, something that Wikipedia above and beyond what Wikipedia does. And you'll see the uh, power of this because, of course, if we assign these properties to these pages, it means we can query for these properties and search for various things or search for specific things. So it doesn't really matter what you choose as your um, info box when you're designing your wiki. What you'll start to see is you'll start to see patterns and pages and you'll realize that people actually may want certain bits of information straight away so it's almost a summary of the the pertinent points within that page that you think uh, will be relevant to the user so what's the process of doing this so really um, you need to decide on the properties that are going to be in this uh, in this info box you need to decide their data values as we've discussed before and sorry those data types um, and then also if they're going to be specific allowed values or they could be any values. From there, once we've created all these properties, then we then create templates. And then we're going to introduce something new, which is creating a form. So it's a lot easier for the users to input that information. It's just going to look like a web form. And you create fill in that web form and it fills in that template. And then we'll show you some pages that can... Um, scrape that information so you've created those templates filled in the information and then you can have other pages that search for specific properties on your wiki so quite a uh, quite an exciting syllabus we're going to go through it uh, we may need to break it up into various parts but uh, hopefully this will this will um, all make sense and bring everything that we've learnt together so in terms of the properties what i've done i haven't chosen properties i probably would have chosen if i was doing an info box what i wanted to do was to just demonstrate different uh, data types but also different ways that we're going to be actually bringing them together so we're going to have a nice picture of the crest of the club um, you can only select one league we're going to show where the geographic we're going to pinpoint the geographical coordinates of the stadium that's just going to be a page the name of the manager the number of titles again it's going to be a number the date formations um, i've chosen this it's a bit silly but it's because basically we can we're, we're going to show what happens if you want to be able to choose more than one um, property whoops sorry I'll go back if you want to choose more than one property and uh, email and URL again I'm just demonstrating different um, different uh, data types so let's go on to the wiki and show this so here we are on the wiki what I've done is I've just created a table um, I'll show you later on how I like to collate the information to so the properties, the templates and the forms all on one page. So when I have to make a change, I can understand because, of course, the interrelationship between those properties, templates and forms can get a little bit confusing. So if you have them on one page, you can sort of try and um, keep a tally on what's going on. As you can see, these are all blue. So I've created them. Um, so you've seen the previous tutorial on how to create properties and I've assigned their data types and for only those two that have those limited values I've dictated what those limited values are. So previously we just created a template uh, through typing it. What we're going to do is we're going to use a special property, uh, special pages. So clicking on special pages and then down on special pages all the way down at the bottom uh, you'll see within the page forms we have a create template so again um, saving us a lot of time okay and we have this so of course what we're going to go for is a side info box okay so let's think of so it's football club football club info box is a decent enough name for the template um, category so um, what this info box when it's being deployed it can then um, assign a category to that page which is also, which is actually a good idea in this case so we'll call it 
football club so this will group all of the football club pages together um, okay so working through this so if we go back here what we have is football the property is a football club crest okay um, so I've already created that property so the property here you will see as Football Club Crest, excellent. Okay, so there's two things, field name and display name. Can get a little bit confusing. So if you recall previously, when we say, when we had those templates and we had the variables and we had that something, so we had warning page, didn't we? We had warning page equals. The field name is that, whatever that bit of text is before. Okay, so again, just have it as Crest and the display name will be um, crest as well. Um, you want to keep them simple. Well, this one is what's being displayed. So actually, let's have that as football crest. OK, and that's the simple one, which will have your equals. OK, if you had more than one value, you would tick this. We won't at the moment. Um, and we will do for another, or another one of the fields. Um, but the key point is this delimiter is going to be important. OK, here it automatically defaults to, for it to be a comma. And I would suggest that you, you um, stick to that. So if, let's say, you are putting in more than one crest in here, which is possible because there have been uh, multiple crests for Arsenal Football Club, let's say, and others, you would, you would separate them with a comma. So it would recognize that there are these, uh, separate, co these separate commas. OK. So. I'm going to add another field and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, fill these all out and then I will come back to you so you don't have to watch me type this all out. Right, so here we are, we filled it all in. So um, as we did before, we had the info box, uh, the category that will sign. And as you can see, what we have on the right hand side here is all of the properties that have been created before and their field names so there shouldn't be anything so you might have it a bit abbreviated for the field name the display name you'd you want uh, that's going to be on, displayed on the page so you want a bit more detail possibly and so actually all of those are relatively the same the only difference well, the only different one is the formations which as i told you you we we will be selecting uh, more than one for that one so that's why we have this uh, field holds and list value delimiter. So what I did was each time I added a new field and then uh, selected a property and the uh, the name and so on, and that was predetermined. So already I'd thought about this, I'd created that table before and then uh, create this. So what I could do is you can, you can create, you can add even more templates to this and so on, but you know, we're gonna stick with that in the moment. I've selected, um, side info box that's correct okay and we're going to save page and there we go so what we have is the template this is how we call the template and this is how we add the values um, what this doesn't show you is all the um, all the stuff behind that is transcluded so if I go into edit um, if you recall previously, we talked about these tags. So this no include, you can see, finishes here. It starts here. So all this bit in here, this no include, uh, sorry, yeah, this no include is what is not transcluded um, when you when you uh, when you recall this template. But what it's doing is is that is displaying on this actual page. So when I go to show preview, what you're seeing is just the bits. So this is what it's previewing, and you're just seeing these bits in between these two tags. So all below here in this include only is what makes up the actual template. Now, it can look a little bit confusing, so let's just try and sort of decipher what is, what is going on here. So... Uh, you've got these style things, don't worry about that so much, but what you will notice is that this is because 
you'll see this is the start of a table and right at the bottom here you'll see the other the end of the table okay and if you recall that category so every time this template is called it will place that category because it's inside this include only that means when this template is called it will also um, add a category uh, add that add the football club to that category okay so all of this up here is just styling okay which makes it make sure that the um, you have an info box that ends up on the right and uh, make sure of those various things don't worry about those what you can do is play around with those later um, you get it can get a little bit confusing but uh, you know it created that for you you don't need to understand this is the bit that you want to understand so first of all you remember we talked about the display name this exclamation mark means this will be bold and it'll say football crest and then below that is what we created in the previous tutorial which is this property football football club crest the double brackets and then this is a variable and as you can see none of these have default values because you'd have a default the default value would be here wouldn't it so we're not doing that at the moment um, so and all of these look relatively the same apart from the one that can have more than one value so and this is the array map so this array map basically you have your football formations which is that property and then it goes to this x and this x is in between these two pipes and this is called the delimiter so if I put a semicolon there, the delimiter would be a semicolon, so I would separate the values with a semicolon. But it won't, we'll, stick, we'll keep to it being. So you don't need to understand why it's written like this, but all you need to understand is if, um, if for example, you came along and you wanted uh, more than one manager, you'd have to rewrite it into the, in this format. But it's not actually um, particularly challenging if you see so if I said from the manager bit the manager would go in there and the has football manager would go in there the rest of it you can just copy and paste um, and so this is the template so excellent we will save changes okay so what I'm going to do is I'll firstly show this um, being created I will create I will recreate the Arsenal Football Club page um, actually why don't I just do that now so bear with me so this is the Arsenal Football Club page if I copy and paste this Put that there now of course there are no values but we'll just save changes and what you'll see is this okay so if I start editing it so we know the league for example is uh, Premier Premier League uh, location uh, London um, I think that's gonna be an error isn't it I think it should have been is a country but, oh no sorry that's a geo yeah so that was the location of the um, of the uh, um, of the stadium 13 um, established oh I can't remember something like 1886 we'll make it up oh here we go so 4-4-2 and then to separate uh, to, to have a separate um, value 3-2 okay so let's just save that and I'll show you so what you'll see is these will these will establish two separate pages they'll both be red because they haven't been created but here we go oh I made that one up I've got an extra player the goalkeepers run out to become an attacker right so just quickly what you can see is so we can add these values um, doesn't like that one because that's a value that wasn't uh, correct so I'll go back and just edit that quickly just to show you what I should have done. Uh, 352, there we go, much better. 
yep, and it likes that. And as you can see, we now have those two. Now, if I didn't have that comma there, it would be angry on t for two reasons. One, I haven't separated them, and two, it just it just becomes this blob, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't understand. So because I've got a space there, I thought it would have actually created a fake page, a uh, an incomplete page, but it didn't. I think the space ruins it. So you must have that comma there. Uh, yep, yeah, sorry. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're we're calling up the template, but we're we're inputting it manually through through this method. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is actually we're going to turn this uh, this into a form, which makes it far nicer to fill in. So I'll quickly what we'll do is we'll go to special pages again. Great form. Okay, and what we do is we find the template that we've created, football club info box, and uh, sorry, let's also make sure. Always call it. The, I I don't know why you wouldn't. I would recommend always call it the same name as the template. Um, info box okay football club info box okay so you're seeing I've just added this has all the templates I have and it has those templates and you're gonna see a lot going on here okay so what it's done now is it's added each of those lines and those properties so what I'm gonna do in the next presentation is I'm gonna go through uh, the next tutorial is I'm gonna go through all of these forms and explain because so if I go to crest you'll see there's a lot of options here which is great um, but it can be a bit daunting to start with you don't necessarily have to use any of them and what I might do is just just run it without using any of them and then show you some of the different things that you can do um, actually let's just do that now so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to uh, choose any extra things I'm going to save this page okay and I'm going to create I don't know uh, okay football club now it's already been created so I don't know what's going to happen here yes so it's already been created so what it's done is it's dragged that other bits of information so you see the free text uh, that's quite smart actually I like that um, so it's grabbed the free text from that page and it's grabbed everything that I've already chosen so you can see here because this is a date it gives me the um, option and so on and there's actually there's date pickers that you can choose and so on because we're only allowed one we can drop down so crest here what I do is I'll choose a picture and I'll show you how we do that location here I'm going to get the geo coordinates for the stadium and put them in there manager I'm going to remember how to spell his name um, email again and website again uh, we'll, we'll put those in but as you can see there's two particular features I want to see I want to show you one was here you can only be in one league at a time so if you remember the property had these four values and you could only um, you could only choose one so at present they're in the Premier League and we choose the Premier League for the formations they could have more than one formation so this is why you've got these various things so we're saying they've played this they've played this they've never played the Christmas tree right and then you've got your free text here so um, I'll just oh is it you yes look at that I couldn't remember his name but uh, luckily it remembered for me so I'll save page and there you go so that makes it really easy uh, to change that and what we'll see here is actually we can have an edit with form so we can go back and edit it with a form very easily so that was a really quick canter through I'm going to go back in in the next tutorial I'm going to go back through that creation of the form I just did a quick one just to demonstrate where we're going to get to but it's quite important to spend a bit of time on how you actually demonstrate how you actually create that form so thank you very much for watching